What are you guys doing? Hiking the trail? That's the alpaca farm where I stayed last two nights. The red barn, the tin building attached to it is the bunkhouse. The alpacas miss me already and I miss them. Amazing. just different than anything I've been hiking through today. Truthfully, it's just what I needed to help get me through the rest of the PM. It's three o'clock. I don't intend to hike any further than six o'clock, 6.30. If I can make it somewhere with water where I'm allowed to camp, preferably a bear box, but I'm allowed to camp water, bear box in that order is my priorities been a slog today. Um, the plan is to go good miles to get through that restricted camping area and put myself really close to Damascus. So maybe I can get there tomorrow night or get close to somewhere where I can camp tomorrow night so I can just strut slash dance, strut dance my way in Thursday morning and spend the day Thursday and the night. You know, we'll see. This looks like somebody's sock. Someone left a trace. I've had two big days. Today would have been a good day to scale it back. So 21.7-ish miles yesterday. A little more, a little less. Um, we'll see what I end up doing, but today's gonna be in the 1921 range. And what I really like is push, scale back, push, scale back. Let myself rest. I was stung by wasps or hornets or something around 10 o'clock this morning so got a pink circle around my ankle there it is uh, there's one there's two another one right there so the front and the back of that ankle I don't know if I've got anything else going on on that leg but then there's another one three so it doesn't seem like anything's beelining up my leg like I'm gonna die I've been trying to avoid taking Benadryl for as long as I can because I wanted to push today and get big miles and I didn't want to let some mysterious wasp or hornet ninjas take that away from me. I'm hiking my own hike, eating my own ice cream, getting stung by my own hornets. But just my luck, the ponies are way over there. Oh, pretty sure those are ponies. Yeah, I just heard them. That was a pony noise. Son of a bitch, you just told me off. Anyway, these ponies, they just ghosted me. There's a pony and it's moving and I'm trying to keep the wild in the wildlife, but there's three ponies and they're not moving away from me. 
They're moving towards me. Hi, ponies. They're curious about me. Oh, they're small. And that's why they're ponies. But I found them, or I should say they found me. There they are. Hello, beautiful. Look at those eyes. Look at that mane. One is more beautiful than the next. What are you guys doing? Hiking the trail? Okay, do not pet or feed the ponies, fiddlesticks. There they all are. Okay. Thanks for showing up, guys and gals. Well, they're eating breakfast. I shouldn't bother them. Today's just a really beautiful day. And just a really beautiful section of trail today in Southern Virginia, just outside Damascus. Plan to get there tomorrow. Still summer, but close to fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it. A lot of leaves on the trail. I've had a little bit of a hard time following the trail today because that section that I just went through around Grayson Highlands had a lot of side trails and blue blazes. A lot of them were marked really well with signs and whatnot, but then there were just a lot of other places where the trail looked like it could go in another direction. But all in all, it's I can't put my camera away and keep it away day because I just keep seeing these amazing new terrains and scenery. And the trail is amazing. Get outside and enjoy nature. This bridge reminds me of a bridge in a chapter of my favorite book, Neverwhere. Pretty sure they described that bridge to be a lot longer. And you don't want to cross that bridge at night because you'll get taken away. There's the river down there. And I am really high above it. I feel like I saw this bridge and it looked high above it. You can see it's really well constructed, so I feel safe. I don't have a complete fear of heights, just a healthy little fear of heights. I respect heights and I respect the law of gravity. Oh, a bench. I so could take a break, but I don't want to. I have to push on. I have lofty goals today, but that bench is beautiful. That might be the most amazing thing I've seen all day today. But there's the bridge from one end to the other. Don D, class of 1982. It seems like some of these have trail names or sayings. Um, Old Spice, Georgia Domain. Yeah, so this is about the trail. And that's just what I thought, because this is Damascus, and it's a trail town. This is absolutely the coolest thing. I saw one that said do or do not. I don't know if I walked by it, but these are the coolest things. There's some more bricks. Get your name on a brick somehow. Oh, there's Shady Lane. That's what I'm looking for for uh, the diner. Yeah. 
So I bought these in Delaware Water Gap, half off. They saved my feet and helped me build my trail legs. These are going up there. They were good to me, 800 miles or so. It was meant to be because I'm here at Broken Fiddle, Hostel, and they have a tree with trail runners. So it might be hard to tell, but I got them up there, fourth or fifth try. Black ones swinging around in front of the ones with the yellow soles. Ugh. <sighs>